I think something that I want to get off my chest is kind of just a little bit of everything. What's something you want to get off your chest? Go do it. Yeah. What's something you want to get off your chest? Okay. <laughs> scary. Oh god, I'm not ready for that. I want to get off my chest that I haven't talked to my mom in over a year, and I think it's my fault. I think I regret not reaching out to my older brother. I haven't talked to him in three years. My mom passed away uh, when I was 16. And one of the last things that I ever got to say to my mom was kind of just telling her how I felt I was being treated and how I didn't like that, I guess. And I feel a lot of regret towards making those last moments about that and not about us and our relationship. Wish I could uh, have a do-over. Oh, I'm just reading it. No way. I'm a reformed Catholic, man. I'm out. <laughs> I'm in this place where I'm starting to end something and start something else, and that's really hard. I keep having anxiety attacks. It's embarrassing. Something I want to get off my chest. Uh, the fact that I'm gay. I was raised in a super conservative Christian household. I want to get off my chest that I am very afraid <laughs> of losing love. I've been broken up with my ex for 13 months. I um, mean, we still fuck. I really need to get STD tested. I've been being so for like a while. I don't like doing dinner dates. I uh, get very gassy, right? Specifically after I eat, which is why I'm on the road right now, because I ate the meat there to go fart, and so I was walking outside. I love that. 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 I was late and I missed it. But it'll happen. Thank you. Know. Drugs is something that I do to survive, not because I want to. I've just seen so much of Making the choices to pick up a substance. I've had issues in the past, and I don't want that to be something that rears its head up again. Because that completely changed my life for the worst. And I'm, I'm still trying to turn those things around and keep building the relationship with my son. I know that I can be there more for my partner. You're not getting anything out of me, you stupid fucking box. Stop. <laughs> Something I regret is definitely being really judgmental. Sometimes I overlook the people's situations and where they come from. I'm really changing as a person. And it's scary. I like catch myself doing things that don't necessarily like align with my values or what I think my values are. And it's a little bit of a How did that happen?
I try really hard to be the older sister that my siblings need me to be and the partner that my boyfriend needs me to be, but I don't actually know if I can be everything that everyone else wants, but also making sure that I can kind of be true to myself. I have for the last few years kind of felt like I've been living a lie and hiding stuff. I know that the people that I would talk to or that I would share with really do love me and really do care for me and would do anything that they could to help me, but I have a fear or shame of letting them down. I don't know, I guess maybe we'll see what happens, but thank you.